Hello and welcome back everyone to our Magic the Gathering uh, set explorations and in this episode we're staying in the 2012 block at least as far as I know so that um, yeah we are gonna explore Zendikar the uh, first uh, well it's not actually the set that the Eldrazi show up in but it's the set before that because the Eldrazi show up in Rise of the Eldrazi and we've already explored that set. They rise. So now we are going to explore Zendikar because because Zendikar has got a lot of really awesome cards in it that I wanted to show off. And hopefully, I get to show at least two of them off. Are you ready, Mr. Cloud? We are just about ready, and I hope that during this match, although no thanks to me, we will see some familiar cards from the Core 2012 set. Alright, then. Yeah. Raw mm, D20s. Yeah, like, uh, um, red. Six. You win. Aha, I will go first. <laughs> Aha. Good luck, sir. This game is merciless with the luck aspect. Uh, I will keep. I must investigate, he said, to see if this hand is playable. Hmm. Uh, I am going to take one house mulligan. Yoink. Okay. Nuts. Well, this hand is even worse. But, I am going to keep this hand. Alright then. Let us begin. As soon as we play... Let us begin. Tag, it. you're it. No! <sighs> Alright, now tag me. I'm pressing the button. Okay, now I'm it. I mean, you're it. There. Mm, I'm going to start with a forest, and then I'm going to cast... Explorer Scope. The Explorer Scope. And I will end. Ah, the Scope of Wonders. Like Sacagawea or some shit. I'm going to put an island down and end my turn, he said. Alright. Okay, I'm going to put a Plains down, and then I'm going to cast the Oren Reef Survivalist. And when he enters the battlefield, because he's an ally, and because he says so, I can add a 1-1 counter onto him. Hell yeah. Now, who does this guy make me think of? The unruly... No, not the unruly mob. Some other creature that also gains plus one, plus one counters rather explosively. Hmm. Alright, so you're showing a... You're showing a 2-2 two -two right now. That is a thing, definitely. I'm gonna pay two to cast my trap maker, my trap maker snare. Okay. I'm gonna search my library for a trap card. And I have to reveal it to you. It's the whiplash trap. Okay. The trap on this is: if an opponent had two or more creatures under the battlefield under his control, I may pay one instead of paying five. Well, one blue. Turn is yours. All right. Okay, we are going to cast the Kalani Heart Expedition. Oh, it's an expedition with landfall. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. And then I'm going to put down a plains. In order to put a uh, quest counter onto Kalani Heart Expedition, and then I'm going to pay one in order to equip my ordinary survivalist with uh, the Explorer Scope. Oh, sweet! Mm -hmm. All right, and then I'm going to declare an attack. The Explorer Scope uh, activates, allowing me to reveal the top card. Uh, uh, I can look at the top card of my library, and if it's a land card, I can put it into the battlefield tapped. It is not. So... Mm, so it just stays there then. Okay. It's a 2-2 two -two and it's coming right at me. Oh, fuck. That was a big hit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, and with that, I will end. I bet you do. I bet you do. Upkeep time. The phases. Nah. Aw, oh, man. Well, that would have been darn doty useful. Hmm. Uh, well, uh, on the subject of things, 
I'm gonna pay too. He said. To cast into the royal. Alright. Bounce target non land permanent. So my ornery survivalist goes go goes back to my hand. And that is my turn. Alright. So, uh, I'm going to spend three mana in order to cast the Core Cartographer. Oh, boy. And when she enters the battlefield, I can search my library for her planes and put it into the battlefield tapped. <laughs> Which <laughs> You're dead. puts a question oh, on our oh, oh. expedition. <laughs> You've activated my trap card. Cast for zero the archive trap because you oh. searched your library this turn. Target opponent puts the top 13 cards of his or her right. library into the graveyard. Uh, to do move top 13. <laughs> uh, oh, I lost a salt. I fell at our sovereign. You would put Blade of the Blood Chief in, you dastardly devil. Because even for non vampires, it is quite stupid. Oh. Oh, it's the Battle of the Traps I this still game. Have my turn. It is on. It is definitely on. Draw. It's mana. I'm gonna I play lost it. My cobra trap. Oh yeah. Doink. Hing. Hmm. Ha. Ha. I'm gonna pay another two to cast another trap maker snare. It's my okay. graveyard, not my deck. I'm gonna get another trap card, reveal it, and put it into my hand. And that card is gonna be another archive trap. And turn is yours. Okay then. All right. Um, I'm gonna spend two to cast an ornery survivalist. Yes, who comes sir. To play with a plus one plus one counter. And then I am going to swing at you. Uh, for two with my core car cartographer. Nuts. Ah, alas, I cannot block the hit. I take two damage. Mm, Alright. Um, and then I think I'm going to spend two in order to cast uh, Expedition Map. Oh, sorry. It's one to cast Expedition Map. Excellent. Alright, and I'll end. Search your library. Get curious about what is in your deck. What is to come next? Aha! I have my fourth mana. This is most excellent. And with that fourth mana, I am going to pay four to cast the Living Tsunami. It is a 4-4 four, four with flying that says at the beginning of my upkeep, I sacrifice him unless I return a land I control to my hand. Turn is yours, sir. I'm going to put down a forest in order to put a, another uh, quest counter onto uh, Kalani's Heart Exposition. She is live, <laughs> which is nice. She is live. I will spend two mana in order to cast Journey to Nowhere on your Living Tsunami. Son of a bitch. All right, so that says when it leaves the battlefield, return the exile card to the, to the controller's control. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. I am thinking. I am also observing. Okay, Living Tsunami is exiled. Which means that right, I don't have to next, pay the up to keep I'm calls. going to cast... Quest for the Gem uh, Blades. Quest for the Gem Hell yes. What the fuck? And I will also cast... A uh, Cliff Threader. <laughs> You've activated my trap card. <laughs> Tap zero for the Mind Break Trap. Because right. you cast three or more spells, I cast it for zero. I am going to exile the Cliff Threader from the stack. Alright, well, yes, from the stack. Alright, and I will swing at you for four. Damn. Whenever a creature is... So you're going to get two quest counters right now? Aw, oh, man. 
All right, so now I'm down to 12. Uh, well, actually, no, because uh, uh, Gem Blades has to deal damage to a creature. To a creature? Interesting. I misread that part. Thank you for clarifying. As did I. It's okay. Um, and I will end. Son of a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Island. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'm going to pay five. Two to cast and three to kick. The Aether Figment. Alright. He is unblockable, but because I kicked him, he gets two plus one plus one counters. Mm -hmm. That is my turn, he said. <laughs> Why are we laughing? I will spend a green in order to cast Scoop Mom. No! <laughs> <laughs> the eponymous <laughs> Scoop Mom. <laughs> All right, and I'll have Cartog Cartographer and Ornery Survivalist attack you. Okay. I do have a three three I can block with, but I need to be sure. Oh, you're trying to you're trying to power up your quest for the gem blades, you mother. Oh, man, that is a that is a dilemma. That is that is a dilemma if I've ever seen her. So I need so I either take four or let you put a thing that says. I mean, you do have to sacrifice it. I mean, how long can I really keep this up? Um, especially because I have. Certain things I can do to fuck you up. I am going to declare a blocker on your Oran Reef Survivalist. Okay. Block him with the 3 3, and then I take two. Alright. I'm going to put a quest counter on the uh, quest of the Gem Blades. Oran Reef Survivalist is dead. Mm. And with that, um. I'm going to sacrifice my quest for the gem blades in order to put uh, four plus one plus one counters on Scoop Mob. Interesting choice there. <laughs> He's becoming quite the and I will the end. infestation. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay. All right. All right. I don't have a choice. Tf five for the whiplash trap. Okay. I'm going to send this motherfucker. Right, cartographer and scoop mob go back to my hand. And this motherfucker back to your hand. And then I get to swing at you for damage finally. <laughs> mm, yeah, I'll take three. That is my turn. Now, during the end phase of your turn, I am going to crack my expedition map. For expedition map is specifically any land card, which is great, so that I can grab my gray pelt, my gray pelt refuge. You've activated one one. my trap card. <laughs> Send another thirteen cards from the top of your library to the graveyard. Um. All right, what do we get this time? Alright, um, machete. you know what, I'm just going to go for it anyway. I'm also going to uh, sacrifice my Kalani Heart Expedition. Search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them on the battlefield tab. Alright, let's go. <laughs> oh man, you actually did get, uh, you actually did get all of my fellow ours. Damn. Alright, um, another forest and another plains. Oh, you, that's you, not... You would. You would. You fucking would. <laughs> I haven't lost a felon our sovereign All since right. my buddy killed me with his mono white. <laughs> Is that okay. your turn, good um, sir? So you ended your turn, right? And, uh, the, who attacked? I'm technically uh, doing this a lot during your turn. That's, this was. This has been a very long turn us. of mine. It, I. I am now. I am now done. I. I am. I am now. I'm now done. <laughs> okay. 
Well, I know what two of the cards in your hand are. <laughs> uh, yes, you do. <laughs> yes, I do. All right, so I'm going to pay one for Scoot Mob. Dun, dun, dun. And then I'm going to pay uh, three for core, car uh, for core Cartographer. Search your library for points, card on the battlefield uh, tab. Effect. Wow. Just to put a, well. uh, planes under the battlefield tat. So you should have you should have only two mana. You should have only spend. two mana left, right? Because you paid one for the mob and four for uh, the cartographer. No, I have three. One. Oh, it's four for the cartographer. I cheated then. I'm sorry. You bastard. Please continue. I spent uh, the first time I ca cast a cartographer. Cartographer, I only paid a three for it. Well, I, mm. I hope we learned something. All right, but. I will spend two in order to cast Core Skyfisher, and Core ETB. Sky, uh, Skyfisher's effect forces me to return a permanent I control to my hand. I will return. Uh, I'll return this planes. You're not gonna not the Great Pelt Refuge, and then really? I'll replay this planes. No, because because uh, I have not played a land off uh, on my hand this turn, so uh, I wouldn't be able to uh, uh, use the mana the Great Pelt would get me. But it gains you life, though. I can actually use the mana right now, anyway. But still, I'm going to equip my scoop mob with Explorer Scope. My God. And I will end. Okay. Well, I just realized possibly a little luck on my part. Draw a card. All right. Let's put another island down. It's that, uh, fuck. I did it in the wrong order. I'm going to take that land back because this is cooler. Play one from the Hedron Crab. <laughs> Yay! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I thought you might be pleased to see yourself mill three cards on my landfall. Do it. Mm -hmm. um, Do it. Three. Oh, you got my other two scoop mob. Damn it. All right. Next. I got all that crap, which would be cool. Except it kind of sucks. Turn a permanent you control to its... No, that's not... I mean, it does have flying. I didn't think about that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pay four to cast the Rite of Replication. Okay. It says, put a token on the battlefield that's a copy of target creature. I'm, I'm pretty sure that the token enters the battlefield under my control regardless of who I copy. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to target your scoop mob. Alright. And I'm going to clone him. <laughs> okay, uh, next, I'm going to go to my... Oh, fuck. I'm going to go to my combat step and swing to you for three unblockable. Alright. And I will end my turn. All right, so during my upkeep, because I have a shit ton of land, Scoop Mob gains four plus one plus one counters. Yeah, he does. It's going to be the battle of the mobs. 